This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is uniparental disomy? Answer, uniparental disomy is a phenomenon in which an offspring receives two copies of a chromosome from one parent and no copies from the other parent. Question, what is the difference between heterodisomy and isodisomy? Answer, heterodisomy indicates a meiosis I error, while isodisomy indicates a meiosis II error or postzygotic chromosomal duplication of one of a pair of chromosomes and loss of the other of the original pair. Question, is uniparental disomy considered to be euploid? Answer, yes, uniparental disomy is considered to be euploid, meaning it has the correct number of chromosomes. Question, how do most occurrences of uniparental Uniparental disomy affect phenotype? Answer, most occurrences of uniparental disomy leads to a normal phenotype. Question, when should one consider isodisomy in an individual manifesting a recessive disorder? Answer, one should consider isodisomy in an individual manifesting a recessive disorder when only one parent is a carrier. Question, can you give examples of genetic disorders that can be caused by uniparental disomy? Answer, examples of genetic disorders that can be caused by uniparental disomy include prater willi and angel syndromes. Question, how uniparental disomy occur? Answer, uniparental disomy can occur through meiosis errors or postzygotic chromosomal duplication and loss of one of the original pair. Question, what are the possible outcomes of uniparental disomy? Answer, the possible outcomes of uniparental disomy can vary depending on which chromosome is involved and whether it is heterodisomy or isodisomy. It can lead to normal phenotype or can cause genetic disorders such as prater willi and Angelman syndromes. Question, is uniparental disomy a common occurrence? Answer, it is considered to be a rare occurrence. Question, how is uniparental disomy diagnosed? Answer, uniparental disomy can be diagnosed through genetic testing such as DNA analysis or chromosomal microarray. Question, is there any treatment for uniparental disomy? Answer, there is no specific treatment for uniparental disomy. Treatment is typically focused on managing the symptoms of the associated genetic disorder if present. Question, can uniparental disomy occur in any chromosome where it is restricted to certain chromosomes? Answer, uniparental disomy can occur in any chromosome but it is more commonly observed in certain chromosomes such as chromosome 15 and chromosome 7. Question, are there any specific populations that have higher incidence of uniparental disomy? Answer, some studies have suggested that there may be a higher incidence of uniparental disomy in certain populations, such as individuals of African descent. Question, is there any prevention method for uniparental disomy? Answer, since uniparental disomy is usually caused by meiosis errors or postzygotic chromosomal duplication, and loss. There is no way to prevent it. Question, can uniparental disomy be inherited from parent to child? Answer, uniparental disomy is not inherited from parent to child. It occurs during the formation of the egg or sperm in the affected parent. Question, how does uniparental disomy affect the individual's health? Answer, the effects of uniparental disomy on an individual's health can vary depending on which chromosome is involved and whether it is heterodisomy or isodisomy. It can lead to normal phenotype or can cause genetic disorders such as prater willi and Angelman syndromes. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.